What's up guys, this is Valentina with Bigger Creations and today I'm gonna to show you something you've probably never seen a producer show you before. So if you're a producer or a musician or a songwriter, you have to know that you have a bunch of unfinished projects. Am I right? If you can relate to that, let me know in the comments. I have a ton of projects that are unfinished or just like experiments or like concepts that I just kind of left to go with the wind. And the fun part about doing stuff like this is I'm sure you're all curious to see what those other projects look like and what, what those like failures or experiments or concepts are. And maybe at this point in looking through some of my projects, I'll actually be able to see some potential um, and find some new things to work on. And you're gonna be able to get the exclusive look at my hard drive and what kind of projects I have in there and even the crazy things that I knew my projects just so that I kind of get a vibe for what the heck my idea was in that project. Here are all of the projects that I worked on during the first quarter of 2021. Yeah, a lot of these are just kind of descriptors like 80s synth, 80s pop synth, uh, pluck R&B, <laughs> classic 808. <laughs> Uh, Lo-fi guitar, you get the idea. So um, let's uh, let's open this one. All right, so here we have a slow reggaeton beat. Uh, I don't remember at all what this sounds like, so let's take a listen. Oh. That's literally all I have here. So it looks like the main instrument is from Analog Lab, a guitar type pluck. And then I just use some tiny uh, drum samples from Splice. So uh, this is actually not too bad. I think this is a good foundation. This might have some potential. I, I may need to like make a note of this one. This one's all right. It's, it's a good starting point. It's got a lot of work that needs to be done, but the concept is there and you could easily start writing a song just from this. So not bad, not bad. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's do one that has a name on it. Oh, I think I kind of remember how this one goes. You will never find a girl like me. Nah, nah, no girl like me. You'll see it when you look for it. That one, I should actually finish that one. See, this is why I love going through my old projects because sometimes we just like close it and forget it. And when we come back to them, we're like, you know what, this has a lot of potential or now I know what direction to take with it. So always, always keep your projects. Do not delete projects. Even if you think it sounds like crap, you might find potential in it later when you reopen it and you'll actually know what to do with it. And I think the other piece too is like, you want your skill and your will level to be kind of in the same area. And a lot of times when you're starting or when you're learning things, your skill level is not quite at the level as your will level. And so sometimes you abandon a project because you don't have the skill to actually get it to where you want it to, to turn it into the song that you want it to be. But if you wait a little bit, get some more beats under your belt, get some more experience, learn some new things, when you revisit that project, all of a sudden your skill level is gonna be higher to match that will and you'll know exactly what to do with it. So never, ever, ever deleting your projects. Like always keep your projects, always, always. Um, big sample, let's see what's up. Okay, I have no idea what this sounds like. It looks like I sampled, yeah, it looks like I sampled something. So here's the sample chopped up. Let's let's give it a listen. Ooh.
Yeah, definitely needs some work, um, transitions and all that kind of stuff. But like the idea is here, which is that that's all you need, right? Like it's consider your old projects kind of like a notepad where you have previous ideas. And later when you're ready to tackle those ideas, you come back to them and conquer them. Let's find another one. Another one. Wait, I don't remember this one. Ah, I remember this. So this is a song that I started writing. So it's kind of written in that perspective of when you're a parent and your kids are older and they kind of like forgot about you for lack of better words, but they have other things and you used to be the center of their universe. And now dealing with that change in relationship, I guess you could say that change in, in priority um, and kind of just like what that feels like. So let's let's see what's up here. So that's as far as I got on this song, but actually, man, I forgot about this song. I should actually finish writing it and like actually produce it. Like this is completely different from all the other stuff I've written. And I oftentimes don't share this style because it's not a style that really resonates with a lot of producers nowadays. Um, you know, maybe I'll start showing a little bit more of variety in the type of music I share with you guys. But this comes to show like, now revisiting it, I have a better idea of how I can produce this a little bit better um, and the direction I want to take with it from a production standpoint. Never underestimate the power of a fresh perspective. Let's, let's look at a couple more songs just for fun. Before I jump into them, I do want to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. DistroKid is the easiest way to distribute your music. It's super affordable. And basically, that's how I've been able to release all of my music on Spotify, Instagram, Apple Music, Amazon, you name it, any platform, Google Play, anywhere where you want your music to be streamed, anywhere where people are streaming music or purchasing music, DistroKid is the best way to get all of your music there all at once to all of those platforms. It's super affordable. And one of my favorite features about it is that you can actually put your lyrics and attach them to your music. So for platforms that support lyrics like Spotify, like Apple Music, your listeners can actually scroll through your lyrics at the same time that they're listening to the song. And it's just more of a personal experience and actually an engaging experience for your listeners to actually finish listening to the whole song. So that's just one of my favorite features, but they have so many amazing features to offer. In fact, I made a video talking about all the great tools that they've added this year in 2021. I'll link to it right here so that you can check it out if you're interested. If you have projects that are finished and ready to be listened to the world, what are you waiting for? Get your music out there, use DistroKid, and if you use the link in the description, you'll get 7% off of your membership. Acapella beat. What is that? This should be interesting. I have no idea if this is like just me acapella making a beat or... Oh, you know what? This might be... I started experimenting with downloading Splice vocals and trying to create a beat around them. I think this might be one of them. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I remember this project. So basically, I found this sample. So this is the original sample. Run into my mind, run into my mind. Run into my mind, run into my mind. Oh, I just love those harmonies. So I wanted to change it up a little bit, added some reverb, some sound shifter, and some additional reverb. And this is what I transform it to be. Okay, let's uh let's see let's see what it came out to be. You'll always be mm -hmm. Oh 
noise on my mind like a migraine Blinded by the light but I like it Feeling like a goddess in my titan Take me to Olympus like it's right here I can't even deny what I'm feeling for you, baby, baby Got one taste of you and I just need you now, my baby Cause you be like, I need you, my God, you need you, my God You'll always be There's potential in here. Obviously the song is not finished and these are just scratch vocals for me to kind of like remember what I wrote. Maybe I should finish this one. Actually, if there are any songs in here that I'm showing you that you guys are like, man, finish that song, please. Uh, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video of me actually finishing that song too. All right, let's look at one more. Okay, let's see the classic 808. This one totally gives me those T-Pain vibes. Um, you know, from the early T-Pain, like I could, I could see this being a vibe. Um, which by the way, it looks like I used my Vibes drum kit on this project, which if you're interested, if you like those sounds, there's a link in the description to my website uh, where you can download my drum pack. You know what, after all, after all of these projects, and I've only gone through a handful, but there are so many projects, like look at this. This is just from January to March. And I actually think this is a, not very much compared to what I normally do as far as how many projects I create. So. I encourage you, look back through your old projects and find some new potential and come in with a fresh perspective because who knows, maybe your skill level is finally at the level that your will was when you started that project. You might be able to totally turn that into a banger. As always, if you ever have any questions or want to see more content, check me out on Instagram. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Keep making beats.